Hey guys, even here, we have a lot of interesting updates in this video, but we are starting with the UK beast James Hollingshead. The modern Dorian Yates, should we call him that? Well, he is from the UK and he has the work ethic similar to Dorian Yates. He is incredibly, incredibly strong and he is getting really freaking grainy at this point. Also, he is incredibly massive. He's really a big, big bodybuilder. Now, this guy is incredibly underrated in my opinion, but rightfully so. He never competed at the top, top level shows. He never did Arnold Classic Ohio. He never did Mr. Olympia. He did do New York Pro a couple of years ago, but that was like the early stage of his professional career. Now, he gained so much muscle, it's absolutely ridiculous. Now, this photo was posted by Patrick Tour, his coach, and James is right now in uh, Dubai. Because for some reason, whatever, you can't go directly from the UK to the United States, you need to be somewhere else for two weeks, and Dubai is one of those countries where you can be for two weeks before you go to the United States. So he's over there right now, and he's about five weeks uh, out of Mr. Olympia, he qualified last year. So as I said, he never did any top, top pro shows, though he did win two pro shows actually last year, back to back, but those were weaker shows, let's be honest, it was a British Grand Prix and Spain, and uh, none of those shows were really competitive, he was battling Regan Grimes and guys of that caliber, so he never really proved himself, but soon I will make a prediction video for Mr. Olympia, and I think I'm going to give James Hollingshead top 6. Now, this is a bold statement, this is something that you cannot really predict uh, with ease, because he never stood next to the other guys, not with this newly added mass, uh, this newly added uh, maturity and overall just, just, just new look to him, he looks different now, he looks way more impressive. So I am expecting actually him to be in top 6 of the Mr. Olympia, now this is crazy to say, because we don't know, we can't know something like that, but based on these photos that I'm seeing here, I think you guys are sleeping on him, I think people are not really uh, not really aware of what he's going to bring at the Mr. Olympia stage. I think he's going to be one of the most conditioned guys with the most mass. At one of those two pro shows that he won last year, he was 275, guys, at the height of 5'11". So he's not a tall bodybuilder, but he is incredibly massive, and he has that, uh, that, that grainy conditioning when he's really lean. Uh, the legs are going to be one of the biggest on that stage, he's going to be in the ballpark of Big Ramy and Heidi Japan with legs, uh, the back double bicep pose of his is bad, that's gonna hurt him the most, but everything else is just good, man, I mean, his side leg is incredibly big, uh, back lat spread is incredible, so overall, he has a ton of mass, he's getting super conditioned, so guys, don't sleep on James Hollings here, I'm telling you, this guy is going to make some trouble at the Mr. Olympia. Alright, so here is a physique update of Akim Williams, and now I'm showing Akim Williams right after James Hollingshead, because I wanted to draw a line right there and compare these two guys, because I think this is a great comparison, because they have very similar builds. Now, a lot of similar traits as well, so for, for example, they are both incredibly massive, they are similar height, they both have great side leg, Seriously though, I don't know whose side leg is, is freakier, yeah, Kim is in better condition in here, uh, James, this is him pretty much full-blown off-season, but <laughs> look at these quads, man, look at his mass, how do you get this big? Well, it's actually quite simple, all you need to do is uh, squat 8 plates, 4 reps, that, that's it, one thing. It is something James once said, uh, on the stage you can see who is lifting heavy stuff off the floor, and these two guys are doing exactly that, they are lifting heavy stuff off the floor, on their backs, you name it, these guys are incredibly strong, and it shows in their physiques, they are monsters. Another similarity is uh, bad back double bicep, now when I say bad, nothing is bad on these guys, they both have incredible physiques, but those are their weakest poses, so back double, weakest pose, and side leg, the most incredible body part. Anyways, back to Akim update, this is him right now at 3 weeks out of Arnold, now am I super impressed with this physique update? Uh, I don't know, not, not so much, not, not, not that much, 
But, you know, it's not really... I mean, he didn't really try super hard to stand under some crazy lighting or whatever. And there is three more weeks. Obviously, there is no fat on his physique. There is just some water. He will remove that in a day or two. And I know he will progress more in those three weeks. So, uh, it's going to be hard, actually, beating Akeem Williams. You guys, sometimes, I'm sure you forget that this guy stood next to the top guys. He's the top six Olympian. And I said James is going to be top six this year. So, he needs to beat Akeem. And here is another update he also posted. Look at the mass that this guy has. Incredible, incredible. Look at the shoulders and the arms and traps and overall, overall mass. It's just ridiculous how big this guy is. And you know what? Size is the name of the game right now in open bodybuilding. Big Ramy is representing the bodybuilding. He is the biggest of all time, pretty much, him and Ronnie Coleman. So having a lot of muscle, a lot of tissue... And you combine that with conditioning, yeah, you're gonna be good, you're gonna do well. So, Akeem and James have really good chances at cracking the top six at the Mr. Olympia boat. Akeem again and James for the first time, but there are a lot of other heavy hitters and it's going to be really tough cracking the top six. Anybody can do it, I mean like 10 guys can do that. So, we'll see what's gonna happen, but this is Akeem right now, three weeks out of Final Classic, looking incredibly muscular. And I just had to put this in my video. I already made a post on my community section. A lot of you guys had a lot of funny things to say. And uh, yes, Nick Walker is one of the most massive bodybuilders in bodybuilding. And this is how big bodybuilders actually are when they stand to actually big people. So Shaquille O'Neal right here. Shaquille is incredibly large man, yeah. And bodybuilders, they're not necessarily big, you know, if you put that into perspective, if you put them stand next to the real big guys. So he's incredibly big for his frame, but he's a short guy. And you take somebody who is as tall and as massive as Shaq, and this happens, dwarfing occurs. And I don't know, when I saw this, I, was, I felt sorry for Nick. He probably shouldn't have posted this. Because he's known as one of the mass monsters, one of the biggest guys in bodybuilding. And if he gets dwarfed like this by another person who is... And there are bigger guys than, than Shaquille, like there are some other really, real giants. And uh, yeah, this, this just makes him look tiny and it makes me feel weird. Because when I look at Nick, I think like this guy is bigger than life, he's so big. But then I realize it's all an illusion. I mean, yeah, he is big, but he's short too. And how big can you be when you have a frame like that? So, I don't know. I never saw Nick Walker in person. And uh, I'm six foot two myself, so he would be a lot shorter than me. And I'm really curious. I'm really curious because I imagine him being like five times my size. But now seeing this just makes me feel weird. Whatever you guys think about this, please tell me in the comments as well. All right, next we have Peter Molnar. Peter Molnar is getting ready for, as he says, Arnold Sports and Mr. Olympia LLC, but he doesn't say Arnold Sports UK. And that is supposed to be his next show, but he didn't specify which Arnold Classic, so it might be Ohio? I don't know, I hope it is, because he's not on the list. And if he jumps in, looking like this, he can do some serious damage. Can he win Arnold Classic? Again, it's the same thing like uh, with Nick Walker at the Arnold Classic Open, like James doing the Mr. Olympia. We don't know. We haven't seen these guys compared to the other guys. So you can't really tell, but you can get a pretty good idea. I mean, based on this update, he does look really impressive. And he looks, I think, better than the last time. So when Peter was doing bodybuilding, and he's originally a bodybuilder, uh, there are divisions in, in, in Europe, in... Uh, our IFBB, not uh, not MPC, but IFBB, uh, they are like bodybuilding up to 90 kilos, I think that's the division he used to do, and that's where he looked his, his best, and now when he needs to cut the weight and actually fit into the classic physique weight cap, he looks smaller, maybe he just downsized for health purposes and decided to do the, the classic physique now, I think actually he was doing bodybuilding up to 100 kilos or over, I don't know, but I think now he is downsized, and for that reason, he doesn't look as impressive as he did in, in the bodybuilding, but still, this is really impressive. His legs, I would like to see more sweep there. I mean, they are not small, the adductors are big, and the vast medialis, the, the teardrop looks massive, but the, the, the sweep, I would prefer to see a bigger one. And also, his arms are big, for sure, especially biceps and triceps as well. 
uh, chest is is great. He's he has that pencil neck and tiny tiny joints. So overall, he does have the freak factor for classic physique. But how well can he do? I can't really tell. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But as he says, he will do Arnold Sports, UK or Ohio, I don't know, and then Mr. Olympia, since he is qualified for the Mr. Olympia, he qualified, he qualified last year. Maybe not this year, but eventually we will see Brandon Hendrickson in classic physique. So in one of my previous videos, I mentioned this guy. I said he has incredible aesthetics, and he does. I mean, look at this front of advice. This is new update that he posted. And there is a question. Uh, you would do great in classic physique. Do you think about doing it someday? And he says, one day, bro. So, I mean, it's not like an official uh, announcement that he's going to, to, to change division because he is the Mr. Olympia champion in men's physique. So he's doing well for himself over there. And why would he change things if he's doing so well? It doesn't really make a lot of sense. But if he's truly passionate about bodybuilding, if he truly wants to express his physique in the best way possible through bodybuilding poses, through actual posing, as he's doing for his Instagram, then he should do classic physique. I mean, he has incredible, incredible aesthetic physique. He needs to bring up his legs a little bit, and that, that should do it. Tiny, tiny, tiny waist, and incredible shape. Look at the biceps, they're so perfect. I would so love to see this guy in classic physique. This is the kind of aesthetic and shape that we need in classic physique, if you ask me. For the end, we have Brandon Curry. Physique update, with a question mark. Is this a physique update of Brandon Curry? Uh, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. I'll, I'll just uh, tell you straight away. So he made it seem kind of like it is. So he says 2021 focused. He tags his coach, actually his coaches. Uh, he tags who his manager is, uh, the team and everybody. And uh, also he added uh, an emoji of the hourglass, you know, the sand clock, whatever. So it looks like uh, the time is ticking, you know, he's going to do the Mr. Olympia, whatever. But he's not this condition at this point, no way. And why I also know it's because this was uh, the beard and the hair, uh, actually the lack of it, that he had last year at the Mr. Olympia. He shaved his head and he had a beard like this. Uh, would he go with the same look? Again, maybe if he liked it, why not? But uh, yeah, I don't think so. I think I saw this photo before, actually. So I'm 99% sure that this is old photo, but uh, does it look impressive? I mean, hell yeah, <laughs> hell yeah it does. Yeah, I said physique update with a question mark. Uh, I don't feel like this is a clickbait, but I still feel like I owe you an update of Brandon Curry. So I have one for you. This is an actual update. It's not really much of a physique update, but it's an update of him. He is training legs. And it looks like Brandon Curry is training his legs uh, seriously. I mean, he's doing a lot of volume. I would maybe prefer to see these quads uh, go deeper. But then again, he knows his, he, what he's doing. He knows why he's not doing that. He probably has like knees problems and stuff like that. So he can do what he can do. I mean, also these, these uh, hack squats. What is this? This is not even like a, like a quarter rep. So yeah, it's annoying seeing stuff like this. But I'm sure he knows why he's doing it this way. And if he does enough volume, I guess it will work. I don't know. It didn't really work so far. Maybe it won't again. Maybe he's still gonna have smaller legs. But I think he improved his legs at least a little. And also you can see that he has beard here. So that update that he posted, that, that photo, it's not recent. He has a salt and pepper beard action going on. So I don't know. I mean, him, him training legs, it looks like there is some intensity. It looks like he's focused. He's doing a lot of volume. It seems like he's doing giant sets. If he is, that stuff is tough. That's like the hardest thing you can do for legs. So I don't know. Hopefully he's training really hard. Hopefully his legs will look better. And uh, hopefully he will give us a hell of a show against Big Ramy this year. But no, this is not how he looks right now. I, I don't think so. Maybe he shaved his beard after that video and his head. But no, no, I don't think he's, he, he shouldn't be in this condition at this point. Or ever, really. If he went with this crisp conditioning for Mr. Olympia against Rami, I think Rami will just blow him away again with the mess. I think Brandon should go with a little bit more fullness because when he gets peeled, when he gets dry, his legs lose the fullness and he can't afford to do that against Rami. No way. 
Anyways guys, that's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed this video guys, please like it and for more bodybuilding content, subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much guys for watching, all the best and bye bye.